If you want to get better at shooting from the hip, this video is for you. If you want to make shots like this, like the best players do, then watch on. And check this out, guys, because this is one thing you're going to need to know, especially if you're a new player. Because a lot of people look down the sights when they make this, sh this kind of shot here, but you don't have to. Watch this video. I'm going to show you how it's done. Look at this. This is what I can do. There's a technique to this. It's not just random. Okay, so the first thing you've got to know when you play this game is that when you go ahead and shoot down the sights, it makes you less mobile and you can't see as much. And if the person moves out of the view of your targets, you're in trouble. But by doing this method, look at this. You can just mow people down and fire from the hip. And if you're prone or anything like in a crouch position, you do even better. It even works on machine guns like this or odd weapons. Look at this. This is the Vickers machine gun. Very difficult to hit anything, but look at this. I can hit it from the hip. In fact, probably even better shooting this way than the other ways. And as a bonus, if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you how to use the same exact technique on explosives and or grenades and watch that bam dead center okay guys so here's where it all begins first you want to go into practice mode so click over here and go into the practice mode because for everybody it's going to be a little bit different get into practice mode you have a lot of squads you can select select the squad that you want to practice with germans have germans weapons and same with allies so on and so on so you want to do that go ahead and hit start and it's going to send you to the practice grounds. Now over here, see this triangle I have? Notice the arrows on the triangle. It's a right triangle. So the left line over there is lined up with the edge of the magazine holder. And the right line is edge lined up with the right side of the barrel. Where they intersect at the top is where the bolts are going to hit. Let's watch. So you can see the target is empty right now. And I'm going to go back into an area where about here I don't know exact distance but you can see it's pretty far away most people will shoot like that but let's go ahead and shoot from the hip right here and we're gonna pop off a couple rounds try to imagine where that triangle is because it's different on on different guns so see where it's hitting right there see it's about right there and you can see where the shots are coming in there's gonna be a spread especially when you're standing up but this area right here would be enough to take somebody down okay so is that not good enough for you well I'll tell you what because let's try it while moving and this is a surprise you. So we're going to move and we're going to shoot at the same time. Okay. You cannot look down the sights while doing this. But look at this. I move and strafe. And look at the hits. Wow. Pretty good. It hits really, really good. That's a lot of hits. That's enough to kill somebody. You're going to get to see. I'm going to show you samples. The SMLE is very, very accurate for this. I was really surprised. But look at how you have to look at this. Draw the two lines and line up exactly the way I have it. And this will allow you to zero in on where the bullets are actually going to hit. This is what you're going to look like when you're firing from the hip in a standing position. And it's darn accurate. I'm really surprised. Okay, so here we go. We're going to fire some shots. And way down there, normally you'd go with a target. But you can remember, do this while you're moving around and fire at this. You'll have to see uh, with your rifle. Some of the rifles are different. Like M1903, I know the spread is a little bigger. It depends on the gun's recoil. But these are enough shots in here. If you count them all up, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I believe it's 8 out of 10 shots, 80% hit rate. The boy's ATR is awesome. I mean, excuse me, this is a Vickers machine gun. Anyway, look at where the two arrows are on the top. They're in the two sights. They create a line. And then on the left, that line right there, it shows your horizontal left and right your vertical is by the handle so keep those two in mind like the vertical and the handle and that triangle and you're going to be able to hit this thing and the thing is if you aim a little lower it's even better because the shots will go upwards as they go in towards the target right there and this is a good weapon to do use too because it packs a punch you can mow people down see that's where it's basically aiming right there okay so let's take a look and see how we hit on this thing Look at this. This is a pretty good spread. And I'm telling you, these bullets are full-size bullets. One hit, and usually they knock people right out. So this is a good spread. And you can do this while moving. Here's my favorite, Boys ATR. This is super easy to aim with. Look at the, the three lines here. You line those three lines up like that, and they're part of the gun. It's very easy to see where the bad guy is. And I'm going to show you what's so awesome about this. This also has like an 80% hit rate. Okay, so that's where it's going to aim right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire. Bam. It's got an explosive shell, so you hit anywhere there on that guy, and he's dead. Look at this. It's all from the hip. Let's go ahead and let's challenge ourselves a little bit more. Let's hit that one. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? Line those things. Imagine. Missed a couple here. 
So imagine lining those things up. You know, picture in your mind what you just saw earlier. If you have to go back in the video, go back and see it. Look at that. We can hit that. No problem at all. So that's what's cool about the boys. Now back for some action. Okay, so this is normally how you shoot. You can see the bullets coming out. You're shooting the bad guys. Okay, but here comes some guys. He, he's on the run right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to shoot from the hip. And we're going to suppress him like this. We're going to take him out. And look at this. We can just charge right on into these guys. Of course, you know, since we know where to aim and just try to picture it as I'm doing this. Try to picture that little triangle right there. Because when you got that triangle, it becomes very obvious where you got to aim. And it gives you very, very good accuracy. Now we're using the German, I think it's MP28. And this is here. Here comes a guy. Look at, we suppress him like this. And there's a guy way down there. Let's go mow him down. We don't even have to aim at him through the sights. Most people will go for the sights and stuff. But we're just going to go through and just mow him down like this. No problem, of course. Flamethrower man are deadly. Okay, here's the SMLE as I promised. Okay, oh, somebody got this guy. So let's go back in. Let's get another bullet ready. And bang, check that out. Is that crazy or what? But by doing this, by thinking of those shapes in your head, you can do that. Remember, this is the Vickers again. Imagine the shapes. It handles the, the top. It's a vertical line and the left side. Okay, so watch these guys. Most people look down the sides, but no. With this, you don't have to do that. Just imagine where it is, and you can just mow them all down. So once again, practice makes perfect. You're going to have to do a lot of practice, but you're going to see how awesome this is. Even with this thing, I don't even bother looking at the site because the site is so bad it's so small if people run out of the range you lost them so anyway i just fire from the hip like this and go around use it as a close quarter gun and bam and bam bam look at that don't even you know after a while you're gonna know where to aim and all that. you may not even have to line the lines up now sniper rifles like the uh carano is very nice look i don't even look down the scope just pop this guy and then let's go ahead and switch to the beretta and look at this and got them and got them move and shoot i'm killing them while moving no problem at all you can do this too like i said practice it and you'll get good at it okay so here we're going again with the good old victors everybody uses the victors and when you get other uh, machine guns like the bar you're going to do a whole lot better but this gun you can even do it on this gun with a lot of kick okay so there's some guy let's go chase him down and i'll just show you how deadly this thing is it just goes and goes and goes. Okay, so we're gonna look and all that and you just run around like this. Don't worry what the spread is because the way this game is, if he comes around, you can just mow him down with ease as if it's nothing at all. Now here's the bonus I would promise you, grenades. Draw this triangle, draw these horizontal lines on the top of the map and on the right where the weapon is. This shows you the elevation. The thumb is where the vertical uh the horizontal is see where the thumb is so anything to the left and right of the thumb will miss that way the zeros are where you're aiming if he's very far away and use an explosive hack you want to use the bottom of the map you can use the thumb if they're very close and you can use in the middle the top of the map and that's how it goes so let's watch how this goes in real time okay i'm going to show you i use this a lot because you want to land this thing right underneath them because you're never going to land it on top you want to land underneath and boom see you flip them right over and that's what you want to do with armored cars you want to blow them up like that now this is an example of when the guy is really close and you're going to watch how i line up with him i'm going to use the edge of the thumb let's skip to another guy and I'm going to use the edge of the thumb to get this guy. Okay, watch. Edge of the thumb. There it is. It's going to land right underneath him. And watch in the upper right. And bam -o. Knocks him over. Make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.